previously on AM Soaps, you saw how we used molding putty to make molds from toys to later cast these melt and pour embeds. These will be used on our creepy crawler soap. Please enjoy. So I have Erin here helping me today. We're making a, a Halloween creepy crawler soap and we're using the fragrance Fruit Loops and we're going to have the main batter is white and then three Halloween-y colors that we're swirling into it. The orange, because that's like pumpkins, and green is like the leaves of pumpkins, and purple, just because it's a color that goes with orange and green. That's why I chose it. So I'm just gonna mix up the main batter, and we are not putting fragrance in these accent colors. We're putting fragrance only in the main batter. And Erin's gonna help me do the drop swirls and put on the creepy crawlers. We have our embeds. Here's our embeds of creepy crawlers to put on the icing. The icing's already mixed up. It's over here in the end, thickening up while we work here. Temperature. 109 on the oils. 97 on the lye water. So the lye water is cooled down. can stir them. We're not getting any fragrance. Is this spoon from yoga first? <laughs> it is. I kept every time you go to yoga first you have to keep the spoon. So these can be like drop swirlings into the white. Because this is a soap meant for kids, so we're keeping it playful, right? All right, now this one, I have you help me. Now, fragrance. And white into this. This is titanium dioxide. See, there, that's perfect. So I'm going to do a little bit of base color. <laughs> so I'm going to do green first, for example. I can do green here, and it just sits on top. Or I can do green from like a foot above the soap, and it's going to sink all to the bottom. And it's kind of neat if you do it from high, because then you get the energy, and it swirls up above itself. Now I'm going to do purple. And orange. Can I do orange? Yeah, from this side. You okay. started both those with that side. So. Oh, yes. Cool. some spotting on the top too. Mm -hmm. Should I do more base color or we keep swirling? Yeah, do some base color because we did half the color, right? Yep. This is more base color. The only one that has fragrance. Oh, look how pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to do your green? Yeah, I'll do my green. I'm going to save these for maybe putting a bit on the topping. Maybe. I don't know. This is going to be the first soap we cut with our new cutter. I'm going to do that orange from that side. Okay. Orange. Okay. I like these plastic cuts because it has easy cleanup. Mm -hmm. Perhaps it's a bit wasteful. I was just thinking about 
Aren't you an environmental engineer? <laughs> yeah. I said in other videos, and I'll say it again, we make up for our environment sins by using a push mower. We never use any electricity. So I'm about maybe two look feet out here. Yeah, look, yours is doing like crazy bubbling. What's with that? Neat. It needs a... The higher up you go, the messier you get, though I got it on the, yes. on the yeah. tape. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do a bit more base color. Straight down the middle. And then... Just a little bit more color to use. A bit more purple. Purple maybe represents like what superhero is purple. Halloween's like mostly about superheroes, right? What Halloween you been doing? It's scary. <laughs> I don't Super know. A more innocent Halloween. A nice Halloween. My favorite costume's Raggedy Ann. I discovered none of the kids. Know who Raggedy Ann is. They think I'm from Comfy Couch. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, so that's it for the main. Now I really smell Froot Loops. Mm hmm. This fragrance smells just like Froot Loops, I think. So that's the main body of the soap. And we're going to need about, we have about a 10 minute wait until we can do the icing. So, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back to do the piping and the creepy crawlers. Thank you, Aaron. Megan and I am just back just got off back home from work and look at this it's a new color and I'm going to see I see if this will cut my soap I don't this is my first time ever using this so I have no idea how soft the soap should be if you know what I mean um, and I tried to line up these embeds it will not cut through melt and pour so she looks like I've been pretty good. I'm going to have to guide it past some of these spiders, I think. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to turn it around and pull it towards me like I should be, as they instruct. Yeah. Now we're through the topping. I think, oh, I hope I'm not too soft. It's the first time for everything.
Oh, it smells good. Ooh, it's pinging. That means it's cut through. Ping, ping, ping. Okay. Now, this, oh, it's pretty. Now I'm going to need to trim this. It's like an enormous end piece. So, but there you go. There's our swirls. Oh, it looks good. So I think there's a range of soft to hard. Now this has been 24 hours. There we go, and the spider on top. So you see already I don't have to fuss around with mica streaks and stuff. It's already much better. You can see the the fra fruit loops. I'm trying to remember <laughs> trying to remember what fragrance I used. Sorry people. I just got home from work. Uh, <laughs> fruit loops fragrance has darkened, but it's a pretty cream color. So I think it looks nice. It did have some vanilla in it, so it's not surprising. And I've made another Fruit Loops before, so I've seen that it would do this. This has a green creepy crawler. This is so exciting. Now, something about my cutter is it is two things. It is a bit different than other people's because I purposely wanted more than an inch. So this is more than one inch thick. This is one, one and one eighth of an inch, 1.125 inches thick. So I found someone on Etsy to make this for me. Their site is the Plowboys Wood Shop. So it's P-L-O-W-B-O-Y-Z Wood Shop. And I, I spend a lot of time looking for the right one. Oh, I like that swirl. And another thing about this cutter is my mom and dad are going to help me pay for it. That's so nice. I have my birthday coming up soon. And even though I'm turning 45, my mom and dad still want to help me. So that's very nice. Thank you, mom and dad. No matter how old you get, you're always your parents' kid. I'm very happy with this. This is a very fun kids' soap. So I, my goal today is September 6th, 2016, and my goal is to have this ready for an October 22nd, that was neat, craft show, because that's close to Halloween, so... Uh, I thought people might like this. It's kind of a neat, neat thing. So I have plenty of time for this to cure. This is the end piece of this one. Now I'm going to see. Where's one that's too thick? Oop, end piece doesn't sit up. <laughs> so the end piece is going to be the sample. I always have one out that people can touch and smell. So that's that one. This one, I'm going to see if I can... Use this cutter to trim it. Probably pushing my luck here, girl. Can trim a bit off. Things have gone so well so far. Ooh, Ooh it's like cutting through butter. Oh, it smells so good. It smells just like Fruit Loops. Will Aaron and Megan put spiders on this soap again? Will they use a drop swirl? Will they use green, orange, and purple? Will Megan return to Yogenfrews just to get more little blue spoons? Will they get a copyright warning for using this song? Please tune in next week to find out at AM Soaps. Take care, everybody.